Hi everyone, it's Heidi Smith here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom. And today I'm just popping on to do a very quick video to show you the all-inclusive kit Notes of Kindness, which is currently on offer at just, just over £13 in the UK. A great kit, makes 20 um, note cards and there's everything you need within the kit. So that is envelopes, um, little ink spot, the everything you need. So I'm going to quickly show you the cards that you can make with it and then show you an extra project which I'm going to be adding to um, one of my um, one of my videos. Um, so in the all-inclusive kit, it doesn't come in this plastic box, I've just popped it in here, you get everything you need, decals, instructions, um, you even get um, dimensionals as well and you've got enough to make five each of four different designs um, so here they are uh, well, there's three and the fourth one just bear with me one moment is this one you're so kind so you get the stamp set to make these um, all, all the materials everything's pre-cut this is perfect if um, you're hoping to go away on a holiday at some point in the future or even if you're just um, looking for something that's going you can sit and do without having to get lots of craft stuff out and the all-inclusive kits are fantastic they even come with a modified stamping block as well. Now I've deliberately put my stamps because I'm going to be using all of them on um, ordinary stamping up blocks but it's worth doing. So you get this thread, all of the envelopes are decorated as well and they're a standard note card size so that's what we're going to be making and I will show you how quick and easy it is to create these note cards and then I will share at the end of the video a project to make a little card holder so that if you're going to make them as gifts you could get several make up some sets of note cards so to start off with then and um, we are going to get out the materials that we need so it's all in here I'm going to leave my envelopes in there uh, these are the sentiments so you've got the thanks you're so kind there's a sort of a, a decorative border a leaf spray and some um, little stars that's the little um, basic black stamping spot so that's really useful to have as well for later on and um, you're going to need one of each of the card fronts so these are the note cards they're already stamped and scored for you and last design there we go so those are our four designs and as I said, the great thing is that in these you've actually got um, everything already stamped, um, already provided for you and then you can do some extra if you want to. So we're going to keep our dimensionals to one size. So I'm going to need one of these banners. And the easiest way I find is to actually go through and do all of one set at a time. So you do five of the one design, five of another design. Um, to create them but obviously you're not going to want to sit there and watch me do those the great thing as well is that the thank you these are self-adhesive but you have a merci nadanka so that if you're in um in france or germany or you know, french or speaking part of the world these are perfect um for customizing or if you've just got friends over there as well so and all of these are self-adhesive um, and they uh, just pop out they're already the stitched elements are already done everything just pops out um, ready for construction which is fantastic it makes a really quick and easy project um, and then you've got five of these sheets which again are pre-cut as well so to start off with then let's take our stripy note card and this is the one that's for the You're So Kind, you can see here. So if I keep that out to show you what it looks like. And what we need from that, or for that, is one this piece here, which is, as I said, already just pops out. So you need one of these. We need one of our banners. And again, self-adhesive, so no extra adhesive required for that. We're going to use some of our pretty gold thread or at least we would if I could find it so there we go our gold thread um, and our stitched square 
so it's the stitch square there okay pop the other pieces to one side so I'm just going to come in now I'm using the large ink pad because obviously I'm set at my craft table and really ink it up well now if you've got a stamparatus you could obviously use that to um, to do double inking to make sure you've got a really good cover but all, I would always recommend with the photopolymer stamps um, that if you've got a stamping pierce mat you pop that underneath um, and also that you um, clean photopolymer stamps before you use them for the first time so the lovely thing about this font is that it, because it's not straight anyway it doesn't matter if it's slightly offset And then all we're going to do is we're going to take our banner and pop that in the centre of your card. Now you might find it easy to fold the card in half first so you can centre it more easily. So that just adheres there. Now what I've decided to do is I'm going to put my dimensionals on the back of this panel. And I say you've got a sheet of dimensionals already and then I'm just going to add some adhesive to the back of our front panel. So centre that on your pink one, add just a bit of fuse, what I haven't done actually, my gold thread. Okay, now because I've already stuck that down, I'm actually going to add it to the corner of this now. So just pull off a little length of our thread. I'm going to pop it in that bottom left corner. And to make your loop, just I just do a couple of loops. So, okay. and then I can add glue to the rest of that. And again, just centre that in the middle. And there's our first note card complete. So our second note card if we take our, this is a really pretty one, so we're going to take our um, image here, what we want is a little, a little bar and we want one of these pretty ones here. And then um, a little bit of thread we're going to use again. So let's add my thread. We'll need some more dimensionals and I want my small block letters, thank you. So again, just come in with my stamp and pierce mat and ink up. So make sure you ink it up really well. And then just stand over it and look down, which is going to be more difficult for me to do because I'm on a video. But hopefully Okay, could be worse. And I'm going to, what I'm actually going to do with that one is I'm actually going to trim it slightly more. Just, that's it, just to even that up. So we can add that onto. centre of our panel. And what I'm actually going to do, although this is self-adhesive on the back, I'm actually going to use a couple of dimensionals instead because I want to lift that up and I'll use the self-adhesive element to pop my thread. Now with this I'm just going to create almost like a figure of eight and use that around and 
And you see I'm just pulling that to kind of do an elongated figure of eight. Trim that away. You there. That's our next card complete. And all I want to do now is you can see on this one there's just a few little pearls. So in this pack you get a little selection of pearls. So all you need to do is just pop those on now. If you've got a Take your pick tool, this is great for this. Just pick up those little pearls and dot them around like so. So there's our second card. So you can see, slightly different. Our third card, let's go for this one here, is our big thanks. Um, and with our large thanks, what we want we need to do with this one is we want our stuff, one with mint macaron here. We want our stripes, two sections. We'll want some of these. Um, and you'll see this is the thanks tab here. And we're going to create a little bow as well and add on some pearls. Just take your die cut and pop that out. So, with this one, I'm popping my striped piece on first, then I'm offsetting with my mint macaron. I'm then going to stamp my thanks. This is a beautiful um, stamp set for a thanks because it really is great and just a solid, no nonsense, probably a bit like me. <laughs> so, stamp and pierce mat. Not essential, but if you haven't got a stamp and pierce mat, then I would recommend perhaps a pad of paper um, just to help give it a bit of cushioning. Okay. And we're also going to use on this card, we can use our little um sort of like sort of crosses and you can stamp those as much as you like around and you could also add if you wanted to add some color you could add some more leaf sprigs in there like pop a bit of mint macaron on just because I happen to have some. So next, we're just going to add some uh, dimensionals to the back here. Just a couple, That's all we need. And a dimensional on the back of our floral image that we can just tuck in here yep. and I'm just sort of interleaving that slightly behind my thanks and then just to create a little bow And then I'll add that with a glue dot when I find one. <laughs> because they've, of course, okay, just add a tiniest little dot of glue just there. Oh. 
probably better with fine tip glue for that one. Okay. And then our final card is using our sprig, as you can see here. We've got our thank you and our large it's like succulent image. So this one, very simply, just if you bend that very slightly and just gently ease that, I find the easiest way to bend it off and then just pick out any stray pieces that you don't want. Add my thank you to the middle there. This one, as simple as pop it up on some dimensionals. And then I'm just going to add some glue and some snail to create some loops. over you've then got your three and then I would just add on a couple of pearls again just to finish that off and then the last thing I decide to do because um, I thought actually these would be great as little gift sets, particularly at the moment, um, is I've created for these sets of cards a set here. Okay, so in here is just a little, um, is, is, are, are the note cards and envelopes and I've created a flap at the front so you can slide one of the note cards in the front to create a front panel, but you've still got all of the cards. And I've just finished that off with a piece of ribbon. And that's using some lovely Blushing Bride cardstock. Um, and I'll do another video just to show you how to create that little package so you can package those up as you wish. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And do pop along and grab these note card sets while you can. Um, I've put a few in my basket already um, because uh, at that price they're an absolute steal and you could make some lovely gift sets or have a fabulous stash of cards to say thank you ready to hand. Thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon and don't forget to pop along to my blog and um, follow the links and to purchase the items from my shop. Really appreciate it when people choose me as their demonstrator, um, especially if they use the host code because I get, then get to reward you with more goodies. So thanks for watching. Bye now.